everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Binky. So today I am going to be swatching all of Kiko Milano's standard line lipsticks. And what I mean by that is the ones in the black cases. So there was a huge sale that happened where basically um, the lipsticks ended up going for basically nothing. And I'd already bought a few before, really liked the formula and decided, you know what, I'm gonna go and buy the rest of the line. And I ended up picking them up for about $2.60 a piece. So let's just say it was a great deal. They're normally $6, which is well worth it. $2.60 is insane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do a swatch video for this and at the end give a review of the lipsticks. I don't know what I'm gonna do and editing things can change. I may end up doing a longer video in which I talk about each of the colors. That would be very long, but you are free to watch it if I do indeed make that. And I've been doing a lot of these lately to show what I'm going to declutter and keep and why because I'm tending to do that a little bit more but this is just going to be the swatch video so let's get to it
So I'm planning on putting a video with more explanations, but I know some people are just here for the swatches. Well, guess what? You just saw them. So if you want something with a little bit more explanation, I'll be putting up a video on that as well because some people like to hear the explanations, different things. So look for that. Um, my thoughts on these, they're extremely moisturizing, extremely, they're just beautiful colors especially the darker colors are my favorite. So you have that group of, towards the end where I was just all smiles, and well, I was the whole time. It's weird doing lipstick swatches where you're like, mm. it's weird. <laughs> but those were real at the end where I was like, oh my gosh, this color. So I really love berry colors. So if you love berry colors, these are very wearable. What I will say is, motorcycle guy, that these are not the most pigmented as far as like mattes or highly pigmented lipsticks. So if that's what you're looking for, you're not gonna get them. It's more, it's like a, a bomb. So it's like a highly pigmented bomb. That's how I would describe these. And they're absolutely gorgeous. They are so beautiful. But you'll notice that they are not as pigmented as some of the ones in, or when you see it up against the tube, it wasn't as pigmented because it is more like a bomb formula. Because of that, it's gonna be extremely moisturizing, but because of that, during the winter, if you have hair whipping around or things, it will move around. The best way to deal with this is to blot it or get a pencil. A lip liner is gonna be a friend to keep these a little bit at bay. Um, and if you wanna make the colors more dynamic, of course you can just outline the outside and then fill in the blanks, or you can actually put a little bit of the lip liner and then put these on top of it and it may give you the color that you're looking for more, but I don't really think it needs it. I, for some of the darker colors, and I don't use lip liners, I tend to be a rebel and risk it. Um, I might line it and then just use it and fill it in throughout the day just to keep it inside the lines. Because you can see with some of the application, it was getting a little bit difficult to put on, especially because it's such a sharp tip that the tip would break while I was putting it on or it would just go outside the line. So it got a little bit tricky in there. <laughs> I'm sure you're like, you look like a nine year old putting on mom's makeup. Yeah. So yes. So beautiful colors across the board here. It's interesting because a lot of the middle range and lower range tends, ex except for the fuchsia and pink, those exceptions tend to be in the warmer range, but the higher up you get, it tends to be a lot of these are either neutral or more cool tone, which I found really interesting but just a, a fabulous array of colors. These are the permanent lipsticks. They do, Kiko Milano tends to have many lines come out and they're short time, boom, gone. With this, it tends to be that these are part of the permanent line. There's a lot of bomb, and I would consider these more of a bomb lipstick. Um, there's a lot of bomb lipsticks coming out. And I will say, for $6 and wait for a sale, I end up getting these, like I said, for two, I think I said it at the beginning, for $2.60 on a huge sale. $2.60. I have to say there's a lot of high-end bombs out there that are coming out at ridiculous prices, like $24 to $38, I think. These will give it a run for their money all the way all the way. I do have a couple, none of the luxury ones because I'm not paying $38 for a luxury bomb. No way in hell. But with these, I really feel that it's a very good um, comparable product. I really do. I have some that are a decent price, middle range, and these completely compete with it for $6 or less. Absolutely. And the, and the smell is really nice. It's a um, it's a vanilla kind of smell, but it's not overwhelming. Over time, it does dissipate, so it's not going to stay with you all day. But it's there, and it's very light and beautiful, and I just love these. I think these are so great. It's such a good quality product for such a little price. I really recommend it. So if you're on a budget, you're a college student, or you're, you know, you're just on a budget. You don't want to spend a lot of money on makeup. May I suggest these? Wait till one of the bigger sales. I would say 30% off. I went to 60% off and I bought pretty much the whole collection there. You do the math, the whole collection compared to a couple luxury lipsticks, you basically have the whole collection. It's just great and it's gonna get you through the whole year and that's it. Invest your money on that, keep it for a good couple years and you're good, there's your makeup collection. <laughs> there you are. Honestly, the more I use Kiko Milano, the more I'm just like, where have you been? So that is, those are my swatches. Let me know what you think. And until next time, have a fabulous day, my friends. Bye.